It's no wonder that Africans call this creature the Shadow of Death. Unlike most snakes, it bites repeatedly. Just two drops can kill a human within 20 minutes. Deep in the Amazon River Basin, another notorious killer is on the hunt the anaconda. He doesn't poison his victims. He kills by constricting. Unlike the impulsive black mamba, the anaconda is a methodical and deliberate stalker. He slips into the shallow water to hunt. He surveys the surface for prey, then retreats underwater. His principal weapon is surprise. The ducks are unaware of what lies beneath. Anaconda's powerful jaws snatch the duck, dragging it underwater. With each outward breath, the duck is squeezed just a little bit more. Suffocation does not take long. Like all snakes, anacondas unhinge their jaws to swallow meals several times larger than their heads. A big anaconda is capable of consuming a crocodile. Legend has it, they can even kill and swallow a human. Where humans go, snakes follow. Human food attracts rodents, which in turn attract snakes. Farm animals are also a temptation. In the late afternoon, this African village comes to life. The cobra moves in, unnoticed. A chicken would satisfy his hunger. He cautiously makes his way deeper into the village.
but his sneak attack has been foiled. With sharp claws and powerful teeth, the dogs are formidable enemies. The snake spreads his hood to look bigger and more intimidating. The dogs are undaunted. But this cobra has a secret weapon. As a last resort, he spits venom from his fangs directly into his enemy's eyes. The pain is instant. If not treated, blindness could follow. The venom must be washed from the dog's eyes right away. In the ensuing panic, the snake slips away, hungry but unscathed. Snakes will always avoid humans if possible. But if confronted or accidentally stumbled upon, they can be aggressive. And in defense, they will always strike out. In Central and South America, the Ferdinand's kills more people than any other snake, over 2,000 deaths a year. Camouflaged in earthen-toned skin, they lie across walking trails where they often catch people off guard. They are also attracted to buildings where the sun has warmed the floor during the day. child puts a foot down now, they could be dead within hours. She has enough venom to kill both of them twice over. She can sense the presence of warm-blooded creatures. She knows they are much bigger than her. flicks her tail, a warning. Rattlesnakes sound a more blatant alarm when people get too close. The older the rattlesnake gets, the longer it rattles. Each time the snake sheds, a small part of its skin is left behind on the base of the tail, hardening into a new band of the rattle. Another fierce snake intimidates its enemies with a loud hiss of exhaled air. This is how the puff adder got its name. The saw-scaled viper rubs its scales together in a dramatic warning. Bright colors are a signal to stay away. They also keep some species hidden from human eyes. Sometimes, the camouflage is too good.
eyelash pit vipers have been known to fall asleep in a banana tree only to wake up in a fruit stand halfway around the world. Since snakes and humans are the two most adaptable creatures on the planet, they increasingly come into contact. The African house snake likes the food, shelter, and comfort that a home can provide. Humans are often unaware of their silent house guests. As night falls and humans go to sleep, the snake has the house to himself. He repays his hosts by ridding the home of unwanted pests. But for the presence of snakes, humankind would be overwhelmed by rats and mice. Rodents would wreak havoc on the agricultural land and raid homes for food. Soon, the whole world would be infested. Though snakes may inspire dread in many people, the world cannot do without these magnificent creatures. And from a safe distance, we can truly admire the elegance, prowess, and mystique that is the 